The St. Thomas Executive Program, or the STEP program, is a nine-day program. It has three modules, three days each, and it's held here in the Twin Cities. This program is really targeted to what I see as the second transition for most people as they move up the leadership ranks. Suddenly, when you start to prepare yourself for a higher level of leadership, a director, um, a senior leader, um, an executive, if you will, you have to start thinking enterprise-wide. You have to think beyond your own silo. This program is for people right at that point. You come back with a different view. You come back with different ways of evaluating things. You consider things maybe through a different lens. And so, you know, it builds employee retention. It re-energizes you so that you can come back and really be a stronger leader. The people at the step level, I think, are actually the most interesting level because it's not just the senior leadership who are basically looking down all the time. It's not just uh, the new folks who are looking up to the bosses, tell me what to do. It's we've got to learn how to play the games of being the decision maker and being the working team member. What people will gain from taking this program is just to provide them with uh, a venue for being able to really, really consciously focus on their leadership, which most leaders these days just don't get. And the way that we've designed this program really focuses on getting them to know the kind of leader that they are and, and what kind of impact they want to have in the world. One of the key items that we were taught in class was thinking about the greater good and it's the greater good of the organization. And I think that's where you'll see better decision making and uh, better returns. Go from being a builder to a broker. And folks that are really good enterprise leaders are really good at brokering and connecting their people to the rest of the organization. The challenge for leaders once they hit a certain level is to stop building their team. You know, there's, there's a time and place for that, absolutely. But then how do you be a broker of information and a broker of people to make the enterprise as good as it can be? If you're really leading, that means you're leading into the unknown. You know, there's ambiguity. Leadership is about orienting to new phenomena and adapting to them. It's clear to me to see right away that the way that I uh, make decisions, the way that I frame up the work that I'm doing, the way that I lead my people and or lead with my peers and my executives has changed. I think most people want to learn throughout their lives. We also sometimes need to step out of our daily careers and step into the classroom again in order to test out things, have a safe environment for exploring that is low risk but high potential. By the time you leave, you've seen tools on how to make decisions, how to get things clear so you can delegate, how to consider uh, competitive issues, how to consider internal capability issues. All these different tools can be brought together. You wouldn't necessarily use them all on one decision, but you'll pick and choose your tools, and now you have a whole uh, toolkit that you can bring back for decision making, whether it's a strategic decision, a routine day-to-day, -day, or an execution decision. The beauty of the program is that it's forcing you to maybe put some of the myths to the side. It's forcing you to think from a new perspective. It's forcing you to think differently. And at the end of the day, it's about personal growth and development. I believe the cohort model is so important. There's a difference between understanding the theory and applying it. And really what a cohort model does is bring together peer groups that create a safe laboratory to test some of the ideas and see how they work. The peer group experience has been surprisingly awesome. You've got the content piece of things and then you've got the cohort side of things. And I have found that St. Thomas has blown this out of the water. I mean, the content has been extremely rich and diverse, and uh, the peer group that I landed in has just been life-changing. We're asked to connect with our group in between sessions. Well, we get together as a full group, perfect attendance every time, because we find such great value in who our group is and how we push each other to be better leaders. It's a safe place to bring up concepts, concerns, development opportunities that you don't normally get with inside of the walls of your building. So it's been nice to have a trusted group of friends to actually talk about these things with and actually get great advice back that you can put into motion. That's been, that's been a huge uh, upside of this entire program. People will go from thinking more about individual leadership competence into collective leadership competence. And that's really what's unique about this program. It's less of a job title and more about what's the nature of your work. And if it involves this leadership without the role authority, just to make it happen for the sake of the organization, this program is for you.